Hey guys. Yeah, what I got for you this time, and by the way guys, if you want to, you can download this video as soon as it's available on the channel. You can download it, you know, and have it for your very own if you want it. So anyway, you might be wondering, what have I got for you this time? Well, let's just say I got a trailer. I got a trailer for you guys to watch if you want to. That's up to you. And what it's, what it's for is it's the Pinball FX3 Back to the Future Pinball Table Trailer. And I thought, you know, why not? I thought, eh, why not? You know, why not just, uh, you know, just see what it's all about. Three, two, one, here we go. Yep, I'm not surprised. Zen Studios? Zen Studios is what I said. Wait, that doesn't sound like Christopher Lloyd. That sounds like somebody trying to sound like him. Universal Classics Pinball. Where? And that doesn't sound like Michael J. Fox either. Really? Back to the future. Back to the future in Pinball FX3. Sweet. Wait. Is that... Is that the... Wait. No, I can't be. I can't be seeing this right. Isn't that the area outside... Isn't that area that... Isn't that the area... Close to where that billboard sign was that Marty had to... Had to hide the DeLorean in? Had to hide the, the DeLorean behind in the first movie? Huh. Yeah, I think it is. What it said Hill Valley was like two miles from, from where it where that is. Are you telling me you broke the What the heck? Wait, that's part one that's the that's the one for the first that's the DeLorean for the first movie. If it was the one for the second one, it would have the Mr. Fusion on it. I machine. No kidding, Marty. Of course he built a time machine out of a DeLorean. He even said so himself. The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine to a car, why not do it with some style? You know? Yep, there's Doc, all right. But whoever they got doing Doc's voice sounds nothing like Christopher Lloyd. And he sure as heck doesn't even act like him. Yeah. Eh, maybe they just couldn't, maybe they couldn't, you know, maybe they, maybe they couldn't use the audio from the movie. I mean, they should, they should have, you know. Would have made more sense. Oh, man. What did I tell you? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is sweet, you guys. So, wait, 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 wait. So let me get this straight. You mean to tell me they actually figured out a way to do this in pinball form, yet they couldn't figure out a way, they couldn't figure out a way to actually make it so that that way they, would, they could actually use audio from the movie. That way at least then, you know, the audio would have sounded correct. I mean, I don't know if it's a rights issue or a licensing issue or what. I don't know. But, yeah. Again, that guy still sounds nothing like Doc. Yeah, he's got kind of he's, he's got Doc's kind of mannerisms, but honestly, God, he still sounds nothing like him. And wait, that's the DeLorean from from the second movie. And again, that guy still sounds nothing like Michael J. Fox, either. 
Yeah, that's the power source you needed. That's the power source you needed to send Marty back home back to 1985. It was 1.21 gigawatts. Wait, does that say Lone Pop? I remember. I remember this. Marty. Marty, when he went back to 1955, destroyed one of the trees. Thus, the area that was Twin Pine Mall became Lone Pine Mall. I think. Wait, is that how it happened? <sighs> Whatever. I think that's how it happened. Great, Scott. Really, Dak? Uh. Wait, wasn't that a misprint? The wasn't that a misprint in the script? Wait. No, seriously, wasn't the line supposed, wasn't that, wasn't where they said, what, what the heck, what the hell's a gigawatt? Wasn't it supposed to be like, what the hell's a gigawatt? Yeah, because I think the, the line was supposed to be read, G-I-G-W-A-T-T-S. I think, I could be wrong though. Wow. Oh, this is sweet, you guys. Honestly, gotta be a lot sweeter if they could have got. If they actually could have. If they could have just actually used the audio from the movie. You know, would have made more sense too. Again, that guy still sounds nothing like Michael J. Fox. Wait, that was the one from Part Three. <laughs> Marty, you should have known better that you can't keep a good scientist down. Okay, that time, whoever's voicing Marty, whoever's voicing Marty in this, that sounds kind of like Michael J. Fox, but sounds like maybe the guy sounds like the guy's trying to get close, but he's not. Quite there yet. Just saying. Rose. Yeah. Where we're going, we don't need roads. So yeah. So what would I what do I think of this trailer? What do I think of this trailer? Honest to God. Honest to God, I think this trailer is um very well done. Despite the fact they couldn't get the vo they couldn't get, you know, Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd to reprise their roles for this. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Sorry, right. sorry. Right. And it looks like the Universal Classics Pinball Collection came out for for Pinball FX three on September twenty sixth, twenty seventeen, on PS four. And you know what? That's all right. That's perfectly fine. So, what do I, what do I, what did I think of this trailer? I think this trailer is well done. I think it's very good. It basically gets its point across in le in less than two minutes, actually in less than a minute and a half. And do I have any objections to it? No, I have no objections to this. This trailer, this trailer is this trailer is good. Oh yes. So yeah. So that was the pinball FX three Back to the Future pinball table trailer. What would I give? What would I give this trailer as a rating? Uh, I'm gonna give it about a nine, maybe nine for presentation. As far as the voice acting goes, I'm going to go about a six. It's like the person who's voicing Doc in this, he's at times he's trying to sound like Doc, but he's kind of falling a little flat at times. Person voicing Marty in this, eh, he gets close sometimes, but he just kind of. 
drops the ball a few in a few places. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this, and I hope you did, why don't you guys go ahead and uh, leave a like on the video. Share your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you guys want me to react to some other game trailer. And if I haven't already done your request. Make sure you leave it in the comments down below. And I'll get to it just as soon as I can. Okay? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done this already. Share the video around. Click the bell to be notified for future videos. And you guys all have yourselves a very lovely day. And guys... Till next time, later, fam squad.